My name is David Jones. I'm the head of customer acquisition at CSU Cinema Robotics. What do the letters stand for? Uh, it's actually not an acronym. It's Finnish for determination in the face of adversity. And uh, we do motion control. We're a new player in the industry and we're being kind of disruptive. How are you a disruptor? We do motion control robotics and motion control robotics is use case is traditionally going to be uh, situations where you need to plate shots together or you need to get something extremely accurate or you want to get the kind of content you can't get with a handheld camera. Uh, it's got its uses in virtual production and uh, really just about every space in the industry right now uh, just because of the direction things are going. and. What we do is we simplify that, we make it more intuitive, and we're disrupting the industry right now by completely revolutionizing the amount of time on set that you would require in order to accomplish the kind of shots that traditionally would have taken half a day to a full day. So, so we hear something going on behind you, what's going yeah, on there? Absolutely, so what we're doing here at Cinegear is we've got an Unreal Engine activation that we're letting participants engage in and it is going to be a rock wall. Uh, that rock wall is sort of a, a, a perspective bender. We've got it laying flat on the ground, but we've got Unreal Engine showing that uh, the environment in a vertical you know, uh, space. And so through the lens, if they do it again here shortly, you may be able to see it through there. Through the lens, it looks as if they're on a cliff face and they're about to fall and they're using that rappel rope. And then what do you have here in the middle? Right here we've got our C20 system. This is a two meter motion control arm. It's a very mobile system. We you know, understand and realize that mobility is a huge issue in the motion control industry today. And so it'll fit through a standard doorway. It's got wheels built into it. You roll it in, you plug it up. If you've already got your camera rigged, if it's already kitted up, then you slap that on and you're ready to go in less than 20 minutes. Velocity on set is really what we're leaning into right now. Reason being, if you've got a production that's got a three, a four, a $5,000 burn rate, that's per minute, right? Then taking 10 minutes to edit a shot or create a shot could be a big issue. And so because that's the way traditional motion control robotics has been, it's been a detractor on many sets. It's been the kind of situation where a producer, a DP, is going to roll his eyes and go, oh no, we've got to take our time and slow everything down. We don't want that to be the case. And so we're doing things in order of magnitude faster than many people have experienced. So when someone asks me, we're thinking of doing motion control, I usually tell them, hey, you're going to have to pay for a team to come up from LA. They'll set up track, they'll set up their motion control unit, and then you just wait around till something breaks. <laughs> that's, that's the typical perspective people have when they're stepping into the unknown. Unknown meaning before a SISU system in particular shows up. You know, every product on the market has its niche, it has its specialization. There are other products that have three, four, five layer deep menu functionality that might be needed one out of every thousand shots. And that's perfect for those situations where that one out of every thousand shot is going to happen. But for a lot of cases, the reason we're brought on set as opposed to anyone else is because they need something done quickly or there's a high burn rate or they want something reliable. And then you have one more setup here to our right. Not only do we have our 3.1 meter arm, our two meter arm on track, our two meter arm on a regular base. This one in particular is a CC Cinema C14 robot. The C14 robot is a 1.4 meter arm, so it's a little bit more compact, it's a little bit lighter and more transportable than you would find with many of the other systems. To add to that a little bit, it plugs into standard wall power, so you don't need any kind of exotic power solution, no transformer, no generator, just a wall plug. You can take this, you can utilize it for anything from a glam bot to a makeup shoot to you know a beverage commercial. It's our quickest, our lightest you know, solution out there. When I say quickest, I mean quickest to set up. How long have you been in this business? Sisu has been in the custom robotics industry for about 14 years. We just recently, about three and a half years ago, really branched into cinema robotics because we saw the vacuum that existed in the type of product we were trying to create. And how long have you been with the business? I've been with them since September of 2021. Most fun I've ever had at work. Thanks so much. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> That's great.
So after the interview, they came up to me and said, hey, why don't we put you on the rock face? I'm like, well, what? And I had kind of heard what he had been talking about, but yeah, I hadn't watched it too closely. And so they, you know, putting the harness on me and, and got me out on the, the rock there and then kind of talked me through it, hooked me up. And I'm like, how serious is this? Putting a rope on me. But anyway, just it was really great. Just talked me all the way through it and said, you know, you're going to be on this camera and then I'm going to tell you you're going to look over there and then you're going to be on that camera and, you know, just I'll talk you through it all the way. So that's what it was. Yeah, you don't know if these robotic cameras are going to be swinging over your head or what, but you trust the people and, and kind of go with it. And yeah, it was a fun experience. The funny thing was, though, I was too tall. So they did it once, but they were used to shooting shorter people. So they had to have me do it twice, which was great because then Tom could get more angles of me all spread eagle on this silly fake rock face but the final piece is actually you know pretty effective for a trade show situation and anyway you can watch that at the end of this piece so yeah it, it was it was fun it was a, a good interactive aspect